All right, so good evening, everyone. Thanks for waiting, you know, for me again. <laughs> good night. You know, you know uh, Lorena, you know, I was, I was thinking and telling my students, hey, I got to go. They're waiting for me. I don't want to be late. But, you know, I laid you down again. You know, I'm disappointed, you know, to myself right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the end of the class, everybody starts asking me, so teacher, how do I do this in the platform, etc. So I have to stay there. <laughs> have to have yes, correct. Correct. That's the reason why. Okay, so let me ask you before we start the class, because the uh, word of the day is related to this. What happens to the world of soccer today, by the way? Maradona is died. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, he passed away. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Four years ago, but this day. This day as well, right? It was the same day. Yes, it was the yeah. same day. That's a big coincidence, right? A very big coincidence. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So one day, you know, when I'm, uh, you know, famous and rich, I'm gonna wow. die the same day, you know, <laughs> the 25th, <laughs> because only rich and famous person <laughs> die on on the 25th. Now, let, let me ask you something. What about tomorrow? What's going to happen in the United States tomorrow? What celebration is going to happen tomorrow? Thanksgiving. Exactly. It's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And the, and the day after, it's a black day, right? Yeah. Yes. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, that's a little bit crazy. Okay. <laughs> Now, now that I remember, I need to give you an announcement. Tomorrow, I'm going to be helping you complete the midterm exam. Okay. okay. So, if if you can maybe just open the exercises and just get familiar with that, it's gonna help you understand the midterm exam. Why? Because we haven't covered everything yet. So, no hemos cubierto todos los temas, and so I don't want you to get lost. But I'm gonna I'm gonna help you, all right, with the mixture mix exam. Okay. All right. So let me just I have the presentation over here. So we're gonna start with Maradona stop today, and, <laughs> and with this vocabulary word right now. And all right. Let me share the screen. All right, so let's check them over here. All right, so I found it. So as you can see uh, over here, um, it's in blank, <laughs> but surprise, pass away. That's the word. Awesome. And as you know, this means Politely, o sea, cortesmente, polite expression for die, okay? Or, which is the same as, you know, philosophically speaking, si nos volvemos filosóficos, to stop living, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I mean, but this is just an explanation. But what about this? Diego Armando Maradona has passed away at the age of 60, according to reports in Argentina. I got this from a newspaper, by the way. All right, yeah. early in the morning, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I cannot say the name of the newspaper because this channel is going to be pulled down. But okay. you see, that's why we have RIP, which means rest in peace. Yes, all right. And I have this uh, photograph, this image, you know, this I would say like a tribute because you know, he was into a lot of mess and trouble. Apparently he was addicted to some drugs and everything. We don't know because I never met him. But besides that, he was a great soccer soccer player. And you know what? I'm not really a fan of, of, of Maradona, but you know, I thought this is a great opportunity to learn this uh, expression, pass away. 
and if I use my personal example, I can tell you my grandfather passed away three years ago on December 30th. All right? Yes. And instead of saying, uh, I don't know, my friend uh, died, because I, I think died is, you know, just like this, you know, too, too rude. So it's, 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 it's better to say passed away. And uh, you can also yep. say, yes, go ahead. Uh, this one, my family is mourning the loss. I just sent a, a statement to you in the chat over here on Zoom to say, uh, estamos de luto, o estoy de luto, o mi, o mi familia está de luto. You can say, I am mourning, como buenos días, solo que con una U. All right, como mourning. And loss, loss es pérdida. Do you remember the series, la serie Loss, right, gran comercial? That one, all right, that one is lost, perdidos, right, which is something else. So be careful with that. So I can tell you that the uh, uh, sports world or the uh, football world, el mundo del fútbol, uh, lost a, a, a great soccer player or there is a, a big loss right now, loss with double S over there, all right, because he passed away. Okay, um, for tonight, let me ask you, did we, did we, we excuse me? Okay, did we practice this yesterday, by the way? I'm asking you, everyone, uh, did we have a chance to practice this yesterday or not? No. Do you, okay, no, all right. Just, just to it make works. sure. Yeah, just to make sure. Yes, I remember the last thing we did was this. All right, yes, I remember this. Because Lorena, you were saying many things about teachers and patients and everything. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I have a good memory, you know, sometimes. <laughs> when it's convenient, you know, when it's convenient, when it's convenient for me. Yes. It's a selective memory, right? Selectiva, selective memory. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do right now, let me play the listening for you to uh, see the pronunciation from a native speaker, okay? And then you're going to practice like you always do. That's the first thing. That then uh, we're going to review this pronunciation syllable stress or la, or la syllaba tónica in Spanish. And after that, mm -hmm. I'm going to explain the grammar, uh, time expressions, uh, and, and finally, I mean, th this is going to be the first uh, time I'm going to send you to the breaker room, and then you're going to practice this conversation in person, okay? So, two things you're going to practice uh, with a classmate, you know, with a partner. This conversation, all right? Maybe if you want to practice the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this one you have below over here, but officially only two conversations, all right? Okay, let, here we go. Let's, let's get this information right now. Um, this is the one. I'm just opening right now. I'm going to share the screen uh, one more time because I need to select the, the audio over here. Okay, so just one sec. There we go. And just making sure over here that everything is correct. No, it was not good, you see? All right, now I'm ready. And okay, listen please, pay attention to the pronunciation over here. Remember the emphasis, you know, and the intonation is very important over here, intonation, all right? That makes the difference between a good English uh, pronunciation and let's say a very uh, uh, boring pronunciation in English. Intonation is the key, all right? One, two, and, uh, sorry, and three. Conversation one. 
What does your mom do? She sells with. No, I'm sorry about that. That's 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 the other one. My bad. And I always get confused with this when I have it. I have it here. Sorry about that. And it's conversation part one. That's the one. Page eleven, exercise seven, conversation. I start work at five. Part A. Listen and practice. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at ten o'clock. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. All right. So nice to meet you, Kevin. By the way. So uh, uh, Ali says, "I work in the afternoon." All right. When we say it, simply, "I work in the afternoon," <laughs> you see, it, there's a big difference. So, so in "Good afternoon," that's, we can say that. Or "Good afternoon, everyone." Like "Good morning, everyone." So that's different. However. So the, the rhythm and the intonation, you know, matter a, a, a lot over here, I can say. Uh, so I need two volunteers who can help me practice this right now. And then we're going to move forward. Okay, thank you, uh, Frank. And then the one that raised uh, her hand is... Yes, let me just get here. Um, Karen, right? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so Frank, you are Kevin, and, and then Karen, you're Ali. Go ahead, please. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, I do. I usually come here at ten o'clock. Really? What time did you go to work? Mm -hmm. Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you? Get hi. I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. All right. Thank you so much. Now, just remember, if there's a, a an, excl an exclamation mark like this one, signo de admiración, exclamation mark, you gotta go. Oh. That's my favorite restaurant. Okay. Uh, very good job, you know, by doing the intonation for questions, you know. Midnight, that's great. All right. Thank you so much over here. Now, listen to part B, and then you tell me what time does Kevin get up or to start work over here. Okay. <clears throat> One second over here. I have it over here. Page 11, exercise 7, conversation. I start work at 5. Sorry, that's not the one. I thought I picked it up, and I think I did over there. Um, all right. Page 11, exercise 7, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What time does Kevin get up? Start work. And what about you, Kevin? What's your day like? Well, right now I'm in school, so I just have a part-time job. But I'm pretty busy. I get up at 6 o'clock on weekdays. I have class from 7 to 9, and then I come here to the gym. I work from 11 to 2. Then I have classes in the afternoon. So where do you work? At the Hungry Student Restaurant near the university. I'm a dishwasher. Really? Say, do you want to work at the Pink Elephant? <laughs> yeah, I remember, you know, yesterday, uh, the conversation uh, between the, the tour guide and the, uh, the guy who worked at the uh, Hamburger Heaven, uh, they offered job to one another over there. Same happens over here. <laughs> 
qué bonito fuera que así le ofrecieran trabajo a uno. ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's only here, you know, <laughs> in the conversation, but that might happen. So, my question is, what time does Kevin get up? Yes? Six o'clock. Yeah, 6 a.m., you may say, on weekdays, right? Weekdays, so meaning from Monday through uh, Friday, weekdays. That's why we say weekend, right? Uh, what time does he start work? At 11. At 11, right. I, I would say that after the gym. So he has a routine, you know. He has a routine. They're very lucky, but I think he has a part-time job only. That's why. And this only happens in the United States, not over here, by the way. <laughs> All right. Right now, take a look at this. Pronunciation, it's important. That's why I was telling you. It's not the same to say afternoon than saying afternoon, like good morning, like good evening, okay, things like that. It's not the same to say secretary, which is incorrect, to say secretary. Secretary is the correct way to say secretary or secretary. Secretary. Okay. So that's why a pronunciation matters a lot. Okay. So in here we have jumper. Sorry. Jumper, we got sales person. What is the key to knowing this? Para saber la clave. Es hagan más lento donde tiene la fuerza de voz. You know, it's, you do it slowly. All right? Person. You know, sales person. And then sales we go. Person. Sales person. We go accountant. 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 So you accountant. like go slowly. That's, accountant. That's accountant, yes. Accountant. Like when you say uh, medical, right, in English. And when you say medical, right, uh, doctor, you say doctor you know doctor you know doctor you say that all right doctor so you make the doc a little bit like big you know doctor you don't say doctor you say doctor yeah thank you doctor okay that's what you say doctor all right so which stress pattern do these words have add them to the columns in part a like this when you say uh carpenter you know car you know carpenter caregiver all right Musician, mu musician, reporter, musician. reporter, report, por, porter, server, server, and tutor. And there's a key over here. Hay una clave. Uh, for uh, two syllable words, o sea, de dos sílabas, uh, most likely the stress, o sea, la sílaba tónica o la fuerza de voz, it's on the second syllable. La, or, or on the first. If it's a verb, it's on, on the second syllable. If it's a noun, si es un sustantivo, está en la primera. You got server, tutor, okay? Si es una palabra, un, un sustantivo, el estrés está en la primera, okay, en la primera sílaba. If it's a verb, it's on the second one, okay? Eh, like, uh, right now, I cannot think of, of, of a verb right now, but, uh, but like you say, like, take care, you know? So it's on the second one. But in, in this case, it's server and then tutor, all right, et cetera. But my point is, remember to pronounce or to make the uh, stress on the correct word. Like in this case, you say, I usually go home at midnight. You don't say midnight, right? It's, or you don't say midnight. But midnight, yeah, midnight, just like that, all right? Yes, that makes a difference, right? Trust me, trust me, all right? Let's continue with this. All right, so time expressions. Time expressions. So in here, I don't have to stop that much. Just remember, we have a lot of time expressions, like at six, around 10, early, late, until, before, after. And then you say, uh, like, if it's in the morning or if it's in the evening, or like if you mention the date of the week, like on Mondays, Tuesdays, etc. Or if you say, like, a specific, uh, sections like on, on holidays, uh, on vacation, on weekdays. So there's a big difference over here, okay? Like this, take a look. And you can say 6 a.m., 6 p.m., or 6 o'clock, or 6 in the morning, or 6 in the evening. It's up to you, all right? And this one, we're not gonna actually complete it uh, as, as a class. But I'm gonna try to do, you know, I get up at uh, six 
on weekdays, right? I have lunch at 11.30 on Mondays. If it's days of the week and it's plural, you gotta say on, okay? If it's, if it's, if it's I'm sorry, a, 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 I would say an hour, you say at, all right? That's basically it. And if you say uh, a specific periods during the day, you say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, all right? For example. Okay. And, uh, but you're, you have this already, you know, to practice. But let's move to the next exercise because I want you to practice right now. It's 9.25 already. You see, time flies. You're going to listen to this conversation. Right now, it's four conversations. So what I'm going to ask you is to tell me what the conversations are about. You know, this is going to be a listening. So four conversations and tell me. So teacher, the first one is about this. Number two is about the, the, the following, etc. So I'm going to play the listening for you. And then I'm going to open the breaker rooms so you can practice, you know, so you can practice the, this conversation, all right, uh, which is I start work at five and the other uh, four short conversations over there, okay? All right, so questions? So far, or we're good right now. I have a question. Uh, right. When when the um, when it's a verb, the stress is in the first syllable. It's on the second one. Second one. And the, when I in the second when it's a verb. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank Correct. You. Like, like for example, you say "get up." You see, "get up." In this case, is 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 two is two word uh, verb, right? But it's it's the same thing over there. And that's what happens. Uh, like you say, uh, "complete." The completar. You say you don't say "complete." You say "complete." But if I tell you, el ejercicio tiene que estar completo. The exercise needs to be com uh, uh, Complete. Uh, it's, it will be like almost the same, but in a verb, it's complete. You know, on the second uh, uh, syllable over there. All right. Now li listen to the this conversation, please. And and then I'm not gonna be sharing the screen with you because it's a listening exercise. Now you told me um, you have to tell me right now what each conversation is about. So take notes, please. All right. Here we go. And turn on your, your uh, volume, please. Conversation one. What does your mom do? She sells women's clothing. Oh, yeah? Where does she work? She has a small shop in the mall. Does she sell clothing for teens? No, she only has stuff for adults. Conversation two. What does your brother do? He is a university student. He studies engineering. Oh, does he live at home? No, he lives near campus. He has a small apartment. Does he come home much? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have much free time. Conversation 3. Who takes care of your daughter when you're at work? My mom watches her. She lives near my house. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, my daughter walks there after school. Wow, that works out well for you. It does. Plus, my daughter loves staying with her grandma. Conversation four. When does the movie start? It starts in about 10 minutes. Cool. Who does it star again? It stars Brad Pitt. He plays a cop in the future. Does it have good reviews? It does. Everyone says it is a great movie. All right, that's good. So in total, we listen to uh, four conversations over there. So who can tell me, let's say the main idea, what's the topic? Maybe the weather, I don't know, jobs or something like that. On the first one, on the first conversation, if you remember. Yeah, the first one was a little bit confusing, uh, but I think you understood over there. Or maybe tell me number two or three or four. Maybe you were able to listen to number two or three better. 
Yes, Frank. The number three, he he talked about your sister. She say mm -hmm. your sister is a university student. Mm -hmm. And uh, number four, I think uh, uh, he and she see a movie. Yeah, they talk I about Brad, he... Brad Pitt, you know, that he was a cop, policia, cop, like Robocop, you know. He was a cop in cop, the future. Cop, a cop, cop in the future. Know? Cop in the future, yes. And I, I was actually thinking, you know, what is the movie they're talking about? Maybe uh, I haven't seen that movie, you know. <laughs> or maybe it's not true about the cop, you know, policia. But eso es, this is informal. It's like saying, I would say this, you know, I'm sorry about this. It's like saying chota, jura, etc. cop. That's that you know. That's that's the uh, I would say the the translation of it. You can say cop, it's okay, but be careful who you say it with. Uh, in the states, there's no problem, but over here, you know, if you say, uh, you know, those words to 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 the police, they're gonna get mad <laughs> over here in El Salvador, right? Yes. All right. So uh, let me open the breaker rooms. I think it's nine thirty one. It's uh, it's time for you to practice, by the way. Practice, first of all, the first conversation, which happens in the gym, and then practice the four short conversations. And for that, I'm going to send you the material in a second, okay? So just one second over here. All right, join the rooms, please. ¿Ya mejor? ¿O igual? Hable, por favor. Hola, hola. Mm. Allá a lo lejos. <risa> Allá a lo lejos le escucho, pero... Bueno, entendí yo. Hola. Hola, Allá en, la, allá en la otra loma le escuchamos. Allá en la otra loma la escucho. <risa> <risa> bueno, yo entendí que vamos a practicar la conversación one, two, en hasta la cuatro, creo yo. Yeah, and this one too, the one I'm sharing with you right now. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yes, yeah, that's eh, it. Si quiere, compañera, empezamos. ¿Tú vas a ser Kevin o Ali? Usted empieza si gusta. All right, so, so Lorena, you're Kevin. Mm -hmm. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? A clock. Really? What time do you go to the work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. What do you do exactly? I am a chef. I work at a pink elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. Okay. By the way, I'm Kevin. Okay. Muy bien. Yeah, Lo hacemos nice de nuevo. You. Nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> 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 okay. I am Kevin and you are Ali. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10 o'clock. Really? What time do you go to work? 
Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. When, what do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. Okay. Yeah, okay. good job. I uh, remember uh, a tip on pronunciation right now. Tip on pronunciation. We say uh, pink, you know, with pink. Una, una, y chiquita, y chiquita. We don't say pink. We don't say pink. We don't say that. We say pink, pink, pink. 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 Same as leche, you know. Leche, we don't say milk. We say milk, milk, milk. Como, como hermana. Milk. Hermana, we don't say sister. We don't say sister. We say sister. She's my sister. Sister, you know, like a short I. It's an I, but we don't say sister we say ah she's my sister okay just like that okay all right so uh now with the, okay. the four short, the four short conversations right the four yeah i, I sent yes uh this one let me share the screen with you all right um it's on on whatsapp i send information all right all right uh, uh, this one frank Hold on. Sí. Ajá. Eh, this. Ah, sí. Esa está en el. En WhatsApp. En WhatsApp. Is the conversation one? Yeah, we have conversation one, two, three, and four. Over. De semana. I have lunch. Vamos a ver, es que early, ¿qué significa early? Para mí que es como... Temprano. Ajá. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ah, ya. Perdón, es que soy bien. No, no, había, no había entendido. Es que en la primera dice, hay que up, la selección es entre at en un tío. Ajá. Y en la siguiente parte es o selecciono at o selecciono on. Así es, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Ah, ya, ya, ya lo entendí, que no lo había entendido. Yes. Pero yo había entendido que lo usamos cuando tenemos eh, una hora específica. No es así. De hecho, sí, así es. Ah, ok. Entonces, pero para variar se dice temprano y leven ¿O oh, no es correcto? Mm, no, en realidad no, porque temprano no son las, no es, no son las 11, Ajá. temprano son las 7, las 8. Digamos, Ajá. aquí es, I have lunch at eh, 11.30 o Mondays, but si, si, si aquí estuviera a las 6 de la mañana, sí, creo que early estaría correcto, cualquiera fuera. Okay. Pero tiene, I have Ajá. lunch, I have breakfast, maybe you can say, I have breakfast early, eh, by, pero sí tiene que decir siempre el at, siempre va el at. sí. Siempre, always. You gotta Para eat. mencionar. Horas. Ajá, porque exactly. es la, la preposición del tiempo. Exactly. You can say, I have okay. lunch early at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. But you have to say, but right now, uh, Noemi, let's practice uh, these short conversations if you haven't, please. Um. This one, I sent Repeat, it. Repeat, please. Yes, uh, practice these uh, conversations, please. This one. Do you see the screen over? Okay. Sería, I get up. No, but uh, this one. Pu puede ver la pantalla que estoy compartiendo. Ah, perdón. Es que como mi teléfono se apagó, entonces yo había abierto una captura en Word. No problem. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, conversation one. Ajá. What does your mom do? Y, y, sí, y solo para interrumpirla. Eh, es, esto está en el chat, o sea, tienen el, 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 el enlace en el chat. Entonces. Ok, teacher, es que a mí se me apagó el teléfono. Oh, ok. Por eso That... estoy mirando su pantalla. Permítame, right. permítame. Oh, ok, bueno, ahorita. 
Vaya, eh, pero estas son, va, Sacle también captura la siguiente, screenshot to the next one, pues. Okay. Conversation three and four. Mm, que son dos más. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, sí, Okay. Conversation three. Así? Yes, uh, correct. But I, I have to go, you know, I have to visit some of your uh, partners as well over here. Okay. All right. Okay. It does close my my daughter loves staying uh, staying with her grandma. Cambiamos. Dale, dale. Who says car your daughter when you're at work? Um, my mom wishes her. Wishes her and he lights near my house. Oh, that's convenient. convenient. Yeah, uh, uh, my daughter. Uh, well, and the, they're after school. Wow, that works out well for you. I do. Um, plus, my dancer love staying with your grandma. Hello, hello. We... Good, to, good to see you, Arthur. Yes, Janet. What? Yeah, go ahead, please. Yes, you're saying? Um, we talk about, we finish that four conversation. Mm -hmm. So you finish And, that? yeah, y no sé, and I don't know that. <laughs> like, what else to do? <laughs> and I don't know that if, what, what, if what, I start the conversation seven. No, no, no. I start work no, not really. Uh, right now, um, there's something else that I'm going to assign to you, all right? But we have to wait. But since you already finished, let me uh, tell you what to do, okay? Okay. All right, so when you uh, practice a conversation, you don't really have to read the information over there. You, you, you have to read and then say it, read and say it, read and say it, read it in your mind and then just say it like if you are like in front of someone over there, just like this. Uh, so I take a look at the question over there and then I ask you, Arthur. So I'm looking at you, Arthur, just right now over here. So what does your mom do? And then you read it and then you tell me she sells women's clothing. And then you go back again and say, oh yeah, where does, where does he work? And then I just look at you. That's better because you are uh, forcing your brain to remember, okay? And that's, that's a, I would say, good practice that you should do when, when you uh, do the conversations. And then you go, she has a small shop in the mall, and I close my eyes to remember. <laughs> and then I ask you, does she sell clothing for teams? O sea, you start reading, and then you finish looking at your classmate, okay? And then you go, no, she only has stuff. Are you talking Spanish? For adults, for, see. Sí. No hay problema. Um, ya dijimos las, tres, las cuatro conversaciones, ya las hablamos. Sí, sí. We change in roles. Two. Yeah, Two times. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. No, yo, yo sí entiendo que ya terminaron, entonces solamente les estoy compartiendo un, como un tip eh, cuando practiquen las conversaciones futuras, o sea, no hoy, ¿verdad? Tal vez hoy o mañana. Eh, que no necesariamente leamos renglón por renglón, sino que tratemos el, eh, hagamos el esfuerzo de eh, mirarnos o, o de mirar para otro lado y no depender de la, de la conversación. De esa forma usted se va a aprender okay. el vocabulario. Eso es lo que le estaba diciendo ahorita. Y estamos haciendo okay. tiempo, you know, we're like, we're buying time for your classmates that are still practicing. That's what we're doing right now. Pero de hecho, ese consejo se lo voy a compartir a todos. Y eso quisiera que lo hicieran de esa forma. Porque, okay. in the way you're going to learn, you know, you're going to learn. All right. So let's go back to the main session, please.
Fíjate que no encontramos la conversación, José. No la encontramos. No, no, no la encontré en el WhatsApp ni en el PDF. Quizás lo mandé. ¿Cómo no? Fíjense, ahí está. Lo que pasa es que lo mandé dos imágenes anteriores. Pero, pero si gusta, igual pueden Nosotros ayudarnos. Nosotros sí lo practicamos. Sí, pueden ayudarnos a practicar. En Frank, si gusta, con su compañera. ¿Con quién estaba usted, Frank? Con Ana Ruth. Vaya, entonces, but I need to give you some advice first. Ok, let's say it's a tip. Ahorita les voy a vender así como un consejo que creo que ya se los compartí solamente a Arturo. Y let's see, Arturo, who were you practicing with? Eh, with me, Janet. With Janet, right? Yes, correct. All right. Let me double check over here. Yeah, you, you, you can see right now a conversation one and two, right, Frank? Yes. With, with Anna Ruth? No, no, uh, uh, I'm asking, uh, are you able to see the screen and sharing right now with you? Can you see the screen and sharing? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. All right. And the number. All right, so this is the tip I want to share with you. You got to pretend that your classmate is in front of you right now. And in that way, you don't have to read word by word like this. So look at, look at me right now. So you have the question, then you have the response. Woman and man. So you can go, what does your mom do? Or what does your mom do? Like you're pretending that like your, your, your classmate is over there. And then she, uh, you said she sells women's clothing. Okay. And then you go, oh yeah, where does he work? Okay. Uh, she has a small shop in the mall. Uh, does she sell clothing for teams? No, she only has stuff for adults. The point is, do not read, please, because a conversation is face to face. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the real world. That's the real world, okay? So from now on, everyone, so try to do that, please. I mean, you start reading like, what does your brother do? Como cuando leen en, en la iglesia, right? You read something over there, and then you just say, right? Like when you're reading in church, just like that, all right? So, Frank, uh, practice conversation number one and then conversation number two with your classmate, please. I think it was with uh, Anna Ruth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, please. And you start, <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> okay. What does your mom do? She sells woman clothing. Oh, yeah. Where does he work? She's a small shop in the, in the mall. Does she sell clothing for teens? No, she only has stuff for adults. Mm -hmm. the number two, I start. What does about your brother do? He is a university student. He studies engineering. Oh, does he leave the home? Mm -hmm. No, he lives near campus. He has a small apartment. Does he come home short? No, perdón. Does he come, does he come home much? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, ya no puedo ver. Mm, I'm sorry. Uh, bueno, qué raro. Vamos a ver. Let me, let me help you here. <laughs> I think that's too much, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you see now? No, he doesn't, no. right? Can you see? No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't have much free time. All right. So, and then if I if I change the screen, if you try to remember, no, he doesn't, you know. Uh, he uh, doesn't have much free time. In that way, you learn the vocabulary. But let's continue over here. All right. So, right now, it's uh, 9.50. So, no, yes. Pregunta. yes. Uh, la palabra stuff or stuff. Que... It means, I would I would, I would use a word in Salvadorian uh, language, okay, Spanish. It means volado, all right? Uh, <laughs> this one, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yeah, it means things, things, all right? Things in general. Uh, uh -huh. 
Traducido así la oración como, como en español, ¿qué sería? Ella compra solo volados para adultos, no sé. Sí, artículos, artículos para adultos, ah. cosas para adultos, productos Ajá. para adultos. Por eso es volado, Ajá. porque se aplica para todo. Ajá. Stop. <risa> sí, había escuchado la palabra stuff, pero, pero la utilizaba en stuff for myself. Como quien dice, lo hice por mí misma. Yeah, you can say that uh, I do stuff uh, by my, for myself, yes. Eh, significa ah. también como it means asuntos también, like things. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. How do you say ingeniería? Engineering. 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 In engineering. Y la profesión es engineer. 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 Engineering. Yes. Engineering. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome, sure. Marla. En el, en el caso este, en el que hablaba la compañera sobre el staff, creo que también se puede relacionar directamente con la palabra de arriba. ¿Con cuál, perdón, Arturo? Hablando sobre el... uh, ah, with clothes. Uh -huh. Clothes, right, yes, clothing. correct. Clo clothing, clothing, correct. Clothing. Yes. Staff creo que está relacionado clothing. estrechamente con clothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case, yes, because uh, the man does not want to repeat clothing again. Uh, he just wants to say stuff for men, like pants, I don't know, underwear for men. So that's what he means, you know, yes, correct. You're right. Thank you. That's right. So that's why, you know, we're using uh, the translation as objeto, eh, cosa, volado, artículos, etc. Yes. <laughs> Remember, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's continue over here. And, and here we go. Just one second over here. Common ground. All right. Common ground means cosas en común. You know, if we have a common ground right now, it means that we have things in common or, or stuff in common. So, and now we have uh, these uh, WH questions that you're going to be asking you know, one another. The first one, what time do you get up during the week? Uh, what time do you get up on weekends? What time do you have breakfast, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and then, for example, if uh, this time you're gonna be practicing in groups of three, okay? And then you're gonna, for example, if it's Arturo, Lorena, and then Noemi on this, in the same uh, group, you're gonna ask these questions and you're gonna write the name over there, okay? But first of all, write it for you. You know, first of all, think about you, okay? And write a number. We got first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and, and eight. In that way, you don't, you don't uh, write the whole uh, answer over there. For, so first one is uh, get up during the week at 7 a.m. You can say it was 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. Uh, on the weekends, um, I don't get up, you may say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I sleep a long day. <laughs> yeah, you sleep, you know. I sleep the, over there. <laughs> yeah, through the day, right? And then, uh, my friends, uh, tell this lady's uh, routine. You can say uh, she gets up at six, then she has uh, breakfast. I don't know at seven. She goes to work. She takes the bus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, and uh, I think that's it for, for, for the evening, okay? All right, so I'm gonna send you to the breaker rooms and send this image to you right away so you can practice because we still have like 10 minutes for this, all right? Questions about this so far? No. All right, so uh, go ahead and practice please right now. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry, let me uh, fix something over here. Uh, there you go, the rooms are open. Christopher, Ernesto, and Roberto are, are together. Alma, Anna, and uh, Jose Arturo together over there. Uh, Fernando, Jacqueline, Janet. So join the rooms, please. Uh, I'm sending this image to you right away, all right?
is este, get up. What time do you get up during the week? Uh, Christopher. Get up is uh, cuando te despiertas. Levantarse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A qué hora te levantas en la semana? Uh -huh. yeah. Wake up is de, de, uh, despertarse. Wake up. Para que rap es ya usted ya se levanta. Levantarse. Ah, ok. Thanks. Ok. Ok. Entonces, and get up in the. Eight. Eight o'clock. You can say 8 a.m. You can say 8 a.m. or 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 a.m. Uh, 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 ok. I get up at. 7 in the on weekend on weekend yes on the weekend okay on weekend se pone al final o o antes it doesn't really matter you know it doesn't you can say uh, on weekends i get up at 7 mm -hmm. or you can say okay. i get up i get up at 7 on weekends or you okay. can say uh, you can say uh, no those are those, those are the only options i show mm -hmm. okay Yes. Uh, Arturo, Arturo. Oh, um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get up at night. <laughs> at night. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> bien, bien destruido. Mentira. Bien, bien destruido. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But... Mm. Um, they six thirty a.m. Um, all all week. Uh, repeat, please, again. Six thirty a.m. She said. Six thirty a.m. Okay. I mean, if you Fernando, get up. Fernando, what? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you get up, if you get up at at noon que es mediodía, noon, on Saturday or Sunday, it's okay. Say it, I mean. <laughs> so, no <Okay>. problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you, Fernando? I have what, what breakfast. Eight. Now, Eight let, let, me, let, me, let me just tell you something, okay? Let me just tell you something. If you don't really remember, but if you don't have a specific uh, time, say around. Oh, at, around. At, around. You can say around. Around. You, around. Around. Yes. Around, yes, you can around, say around eight. Okay, I I have breakfast at seven. All right, so let, let me just interrupt you, everyone. Y perdón que los interrumpa. If you don't know or if you don't have a specific hour or a specific time for this, you can say around. You can say I have breakfast around 7 or I have breakfast or I get up around 6.30 or I uh, uh, leave for school or leave for work around, etc. Cerca de. Okay. Or, or alrededor de, that's the minimum, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. You're welcome. Okay, what? Oh my God, <laughs> que me comí. <laughs> es que, es que va, what time do you get home during the week? Mm -hmm. O sea, que ahora llega a la casa usted durante la semana. A ver, yo todos uh -huh. los días. Over <laughs> I get, mm -hmm. I get home late get in the home. in the night. Uh, Frank, I'm sorry to interrupt you. You can also say, you can say. Actually, I'm not sure. You can say, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I get home around uh, seven. You may say, or around nine, around eleven. Cerca de o alrededor de. Right, you may say. That. Absolutely. Excuse me? Absolutely. 
You say no, actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, you say. No estoy ajá, como de hecho, no estoy seguro, verdad? Or, or I think you can say I think uh, I get home uh, around, and then you say. Because sometimes we don't have like a, a, a specific or, or established schedule, right? So we don't have like a schedule, but that's why we say around, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, but continue, please. Sorry. ¿Cuál nos falta? Eh, ah. What time do you have a dinner? Do you have dinner? I have, uh -huh. I, se puede decir. I have a dinner at at seven thirty in the night. And you, Frank? I have my dinner in the. Sorry, I have my dinner at around think around six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Six. Or six o'clock. Ah, okay. Six p.m. Yes. So six. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Uh, I I I I we both at we go to bed at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right, so one more minute and then I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, one more minute and then we go back to the uh, to the main room, please. All right. All right, so, uh, you know, thanks for still being here. <laughs> I always say that, right? It's just a joke, you know, I know you're here. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna ask right now somebody who can actually uh, share maybe uh, some information about their classmates, okay? Or the, the uh, you know, the, the person you practice with. Um, but let's see, I'm, go I'm gonna choose, uh, you know, Arthur was not uh, in class yesterday, so uh, he was asking me to ask him to participate. So, Mr. Arthur, Mr. Ramirez. Yeah. Yes, so uh, did you take notes about your classmates' information, your partners? Yes, like, I, uh, yes, all right, then, yes I do. Right. All right, could you just tell me uh, very quickly uh, some of the information? Like, for example, you can say, uh, I don't know, uh, Lorena, I know Lorena didn't practice with you. Lorena gets up at, at seven during the week, uh, and then, et cetera, just like that, please. Um, my classmates are Anna and Alma. Okay. And I, I can share the Anna, get up during the week at 5.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And Alma at 6, at 6 o'clock. Okay. Remember, it gets up, you know, third person syndrome, right? gets up. Six. Yeah, gets up, gets has, up. lives, gets, has, goes, and goes over there. <clears throat> gets up on, and Anna, Anna have breakfast at mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Okay. And Alma at 7. Right. Myself, myself, between 7 and 10 a.m. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have three hours. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Um, Yes, I think I, I think I think that that's enough because right now it's time to go. But l just listen to me, please. Uh, the way you did it, it's it's great, 
but I have another option for you. All right. So you can say so. Uh, so let me let me share the information you know with you. Because if you say I can share the information, it's like puedo o no debo, quisiera o no voy. You know, that's if you say I can share. All right. So let me share the information with you. Uh, so uh, Anna gets up at 7 a.m. Uh, in, 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 on weekends or during the week. And on the weekends, she gets up around 8 o'clock. She has breakfast around 7. Uh, then my other classmate, or uh, I don't know, Maria, gets up at 9 during the week. And she has breakfast around 8. And I, and I, or myself, and I, you know, get up uh, at seven during the week and have breakfast around, or between seven and 10. Okay, remember to use the S, you know, gets, gets up, has, you know, she has breakfast. And if you say Maria has, but you don't have to say Maria again, that's why you say she has, she uh, leaves, she gets home, and stuff. all right? Okay, good. That's the idea over there. Unfortunately, the class is over, but tomorrow I'm going to help you complete the mid midterm, you know, in the platform. And okay. Uh, I have I have any problems with a uh, in a final. Uh you you're working on the final already. Yes. All right. That's good. Tomorrow, so we I can help you. Yeah, I can definitely help you tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be working on the platform with you here in class. You know, I don't really, I don't really like to do this, you know, like working in the platform, not because I don't like to help you, but for me, it's better if you practice and use, you know, English, um, I would say in a speaking way, but, you know, my boss, no, ya nos jalaron las orejas. <laughs> and they told us that we need to check the platform to check the uh, the midterm over there, all right? So tomorrow I'm gonna be uh, working on the on the uh, midterm exam here in class for the first 20 minutes or, or less, okay? All right, okay. just to let okay. you know. So, so thank you for being here and hope to see you tomorrow, Thursday, right? See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Yeah, good, good night, night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, class. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. That's the attitude, you know. <laughs> Bye, Spider-Man. Bye, everyone. Bye.